need to find all the roots of this equation. Since it is an x to the third, it's a third degree, that means there's going to be three roots. And we can't stop till we find all three of them. x cubed means three roots. Can't We need to find all three. This problem doesn't give you anything to start with. So you need to start with any possible rational roots. Your possibilities come from P over Q, where P is the constant term at the back of the equation, and Q is the leading coefficient. So we take all the factors of P, so negative 6, things that go into that, all the factors are 1, 2, 3, and 6. And it could be divided by a positive or a negative, so it's plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 6. Factors of Q, since it's 2, it's just 1 or 2. So plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2. And we need to look at all of those different combinations. So you can have 1 over 1, which is 1. So plus or minus 1. You can have 1 over 2. So plus or minus 1 half. You can have 2 over 1. So plus or minus 2. Or 2 over 2, which is just 1. We already wrote down a 1. You can have 3 over 1. So plus or minus 3. Or 3 over 2, plus or minus 3 over 2. 6 over 1, plus or minus 6. Or you're going to have 6 over 2, which is 3. We already wrote down 3. So those are all of our possible rational roots. Now we need to figure out which ones actually work. Up to three of them could work, or the same one could work up to three times. So just pick somewhere to start with. One is usually a good thing to start with. It's pretty easy to do synthetic division with a one. And then synthetic division, we're looking at two, one, negative seven, negative six. So for synthetic division, you add and multiply, add, and multiply, add, multiply, that's not zero, it's negative 10. So positive one doesn't work. Positive one is not a root. So try negative one. into 2, 1, negative 7, negative 6. That's negative 2, negative 1, 1, negative 6, positive 6. That is 0. So negative 1 is one of our three roots. Now you could continue trying all the rest of these to see if any more of them work. <laughs> Or, since now we found 1, we're now left with just 2x squared minus x minus 6. And this can be solved by factoring instead of having to do more synthetic division. Synthetic division might take us a whole bunch more tries. Factoring will get our 2 right away. So, take what's left over once you find one root, once you found one of the zeros and factor what's left over once you're down to an x squared. So to factor this, I would do bottoms up. Multiply the 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. So x squared minus x minus 12. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to be negative 12, add to be negative 1. So negative 4, positive 3. So 
Solve it? Nope, don't solve it yet. Since we multiplied by 2, we need to divide by 2. Reduce, that's x minus 2. 2x plus 3. Now solve it. x equals 2. 2x equals negative 3, so x equals negative 3 over 2. So, one of our roots is x equals negative 3 over 2. The other one, one of them is 2, and the other one was negative 1. So our three roots, negative 3 over 2, negative 1, and 2. And you can list all of your roots in set notation just like this, separate them with a comma inside braces.